Joining me now is Henry Snaith. He's the 2024 MRS Spring Plenary Speaker. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for asking me to join you. So what is exciting about the role metal halide perovskites could play in the future of clean energy? So metal halide perovskites are a recently discovered family of material within the last 10 years that have proven to be extremely efficient in solar photovoltaic solar energy. They have the potential to produce much more efficiency than existing technologies and can also be manufactured very sustainably with low energy input and low environmental impact. So they really have, in principle, everything we need for the next generation of photovoltaic technologies beyond what we've got today. And these were discovered fairly recently. How have they stacked up against other PV cells in that really short amount of time? So, so the, I mean, efficiency is a number that's easy to visualize. The efficiency, they were first reported in 2009, a few percent efficiency. That's now got up to 20, 26% in what we call a single junction device. And then we can make the cells more efficient by stack, stacking multiple ones on top of each other. And there the efficiency is actually approaching 34%. Now, silicon is about 26% efficient, but that took from 1950s to today to get to that performance. If we look at another material like cadmium telluride, that was sort of from the 70s up till today, and that's about 22% efficiency. So perovskites have stormed past other thin film technologies and are storming past silicon in the form of multi-junction cells. So to continue that, what does the path look like to widespread adoption of this technology? So the, the path to widespread adoption is obviously industrialization, manufacturing of this stuff. There are multiple companies, tens of companies active in the field of perovskites and all at slightly different stages of production but first modules first commercial modules there's some companies there's a company in China that reported last year that they'd shipped some commercial modules um, I'm involved in Oxford photovoltaics a UK company and German UK German based company and there we should be shipping commercial modules this year other companies will be following suit over the next few years so that's the first products but that's low volume what needs to happen is once they're proven, and it's a combination of field data, customers being satisfied that we really do deliver higher efficiency modules, then it's a case of ramping up the production to multiple gigawatt stages. It takes time to specify and build factories. So we're talking about a three to 10 year process where we start to see significant ramp up. Makes sense. Thank you so much for taking the time and talking to us. Thank you.